We will get started with questions. We'll begin with Ryan Aber and then go to Joe Bettner. Ryan. Yeah, Creed, uh, obviously you played in a lot of these Bedlam games. Uh, the chances could be your last one. What are your emotions going into this? And just uh, what, what's, what's the importance of this game like uh, in your mind, maybe outside of the, the season goals and, and things like that that are affected? Yeah, you know, this game is always a big one for this program. Uh, you know, it's a great rivalry. There's always great games in this game. So it's it's always a fun one to play in. They're always going to be ready to play us. We're going to be ready to play them. So I'm, I'm ready. Appreciate it, Creed. Joe Bettner and then Jason Kersey. Hey, Creed. I'm curious what it's like. Obviously, you guys have won a majority of them. But what's it been like to be a part of Bedlam as far as Oklahoma State being – a respectable, you know, becoming a national power, I guess. Um, and I'm, I'm wondering what that's like coming from you being growing up as an OU fan, being, you know, seeing this rivalry from a kid, as a kid. Yeah, you know, uh, watching this rivalry, there's obviously OU's won more of the games than OSU has, but they're always close games. They're always really competitive games. So, you know, I'm just going in with this game. You know, I know it's going to be a competitive game. It's going to be a physical game. So, we're, uh, we're just getting ready for that. It's going to be fun. Jason Kersey and then Eric Bailey. Yeah, Creed, the H-back position is obviously so important to your offense. Can you quantify what those guys do maybe that, that we don't notice, and, and especially particularly Jeremiah Hall, what he does um, to, to kind of make your offense go? Yeah, you know, uh, first off, Jeremiah, is, he's, a, he's a great leader for us. You know, he's, he's been in this program for a while now. He knows what, what, uh, what this culture is supposed to be like, what this program is about, and he does a good job leading that. And then he just always shows up, you know, ready to play. He always shows up knowing what he's supposed to do in his assignments, things like that, and he does them to a really high level. You know, he's a great blocker for us. You know, he can make plays and, uh, whenever he gets the ball, so. They all do a great job, though. You know, it's a really talented group we have. A lot of depth there, and uh, it's exciting. They're, uh, they made this offense really fun. Thanks, Creed. Okay, Eric Bailey and then Bob Brisbillo. Creed, the offense has really had success on third down since you've uh, been a part of the program. How much emphasis does Coach Riley put on third down conversions during the week of practice? And just generally, what is his message to the team? Yeah, you know, uh, that's a big thing for us, being able to convert third downs, because if you make those, you know, those competitive plays, you know, like third downs, you know, down in the red zone, goal line, things like that, those are such competitive parts of the game. Uh, the more you can convert those, the better chance you have winning. So if you're converting your third downs, that keeps drives going and it gives you a better chance to score. So uh, those are really important for us. And we take those really seriously around here, you know. So uh, we've, done a, we've done a good job with that uh, since I've been here, for sure. Thank you, Creed. Okay, Bob Prisbillo and then John Hoover. Yeah, Creed, what have you noticed is the biggest difference with Ramondre this season compared to who he was as a running back last year? Uh, I would say uh, really probably just experience, you know, him being him being in a lot of games, you know, at this point, he, expe he knows what to, what to expect. You know, he does a great job studying film and, you know, seeing what the defense does. So he's been doing really good with that. And then, you know, he's just – he's an elite back to have. You know, it's it's really great to have him back and everything. He's been doing a good job for us so far. And he's helping along those younger guys a lot too. They've been playing really good too. So it's good to have him back. Okay, John Hoover and then James Hale. Hey, Creed. Uh you guys have been on such a roll lately that uh, things have been going well for you, especially on the scoreboard. What I'm wondering is, do, are there still moments when the coaches refer back to the end of the Kansas State game or the end of the Iowa State game or, you know, the fourth quarter of the Texas game to remind you guys, hey, you did this too. You're on a roll right now, but you did this too. Does that still happen? Yeah, definitely. We talk about that all the time, you know. Uh, the players bring it up too. We do a good job keeping that in the back of everybody's minds. That, you know, just because things are going good, we can't just slow down. we got to keep our foot on the gas. And uh, I feel like we've done a good job with that these past few weeks for sure. But uh, we just got to keep improving in that area. we gotta keep, uh, we got to keep putting our foot on the gas and keep going no matter what the outcome is, no matter what's going on in the game. Thanks, Creed. Yep. 
James Hale and then Parker Thune. Creed, uh, the defense is certainly the strength of OSU's team. Uh, I'm sure you know some of those guys growing up in Shawnee and things. So they have some in-state guys that are on their side of the ball. Uh, but talk about their defense and their front seven and what kind of problems they present for you. Yeah, you know, they have a really talented defense. They're, for their front seven's really good, and their secondary players are really good. So uh, it's a fun challenge to go into. You know, there's not a lot of defenses that, you know, do the same stuff they do, so it's going to be very fun. You know, it's a, it's a great challenge for us, and it's going to be a fun time. So if I can follow up, is it – so do they provide a, a more difficult time to get ready because you don't see a lot of things they do throughout the season? Uh, you know, yeah, they do some things that just other teams don't do. So uh, it brings a little bit of different uh, game planning and stuff for it. But it's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's good to go against. It's fun to go against. So we're excited. Thanks, man. Okay, Parker Thune and then Jenny Carlson. Yeah, Creed, I know James just touched on it, but obviously growing up in Shawnee, uh, being an Oklahoma kid, Oklahoma State recruited you. So uh, just having – kind of having some idea of what both programs look like, Oklahoma versus Oklahoma State. Uh, what can you say about the Cowboys, Coach Gundy? What's your impression of that program as a whole? Yeah, you know, uh, not a lot of the coaches that were there whenever I was getting recruited are still there. But uh, Gundy's still there. I, I, I have a lot of respect for Gundy. You know, he's, gonna, he's done a great job with that program. And he's, I think he's brought in good coaches too. So, uh, you know, I just have a lot of respect for uh, the coaching staff on that, in that on that team. And then, you know, I know a few of the players on that team just from growing up in Oklahoma. I have a lot of respect for them, too. They have a lot of good players. So, yeah, you know, I have a lot of respect for the program. It's always a fun game to play in. Okay, a couple more here. Jenny Carlson and then Lee Benson. Hey, Creed. Joe asked you a little bit ago about uh, historically uh, how this uh, series tilts towards you guys. But – it's also in recent years tilted your way five in a row and you've you've not played in this game that you guys haven't won. Can you use that um, as a confidence builder? Is that something that um, you can draw on or it, it, does that just have to be sort of a side note to things? Yeah, you know, we don't really put too much emphasis on it just because it's a new year. You know, it's two brand new teams. We're not the same teams we are, we were last year or the year before. So, uh, it's different players, you know, out there, different game plans and uh, different teams. So we don't really put too much emphasis on what we did the year before or anything like that. All right. Thanks. And Lee Benson. Hey, Creed. I, I know you talked a little bit about Ramondre already, but uh, just curious. I know, like, earlier in the year, it, it, you guys struggled as a team to, to get to even, like, four yards per carry in a game. In the last two with Ramondre back, it's been five and a half yards a pop, six and a half yards a pop. So I'm just curious, how much of that do you think is just Ramondre being there? Or is there is it you know one of those things where now that he's part of the offense, everything else is just kind of unlocked in a way and, and everybody plays better with him? Or I guess just kind of gauge how, how, how much his impact is because or, or why you guys have ran the ball so well the last two games. Yeah, I know uh, Ramondre is a good back. He's a hard guy to bring down. It's going to take more than just one guy to bring him down, you know, so uh... – He's done a great job for us. You know, I think uh, just overall, though, the whole offense has been playing better, you know, these past few weeks. You know, probably since the TCU games and ever, you know, this offense has really started taking its stride. But everybody's just been, you know, locked in, playing a lot better than what we were at the beginning of the year. So 